Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to upload an app onto your Huawei developer account. So you will need to be sure to create a Huawei developer account before you go and upload your apps. But first, we are going to tell you how to upload your apps. So you're going to go to developer.huawei.com. You're going to go then to distribution and promotion to the app gallery connect. This screen will then pop up. You're, you will go to my apps. And click new app once that loads. Now you're going to need to select which package type, whether it's APK or RPK. The devices um, will be on the mobile phone. Now you're going to create your app. So for instance, this is my app that I'm creating right now called GoMoto Word X, which is just an app that uh, it's just, it's fun to play. There's, you just kind of get a different amount of letters in each level and then you switch the letters around and see how many words you can create in each one. So it's just called GoMoto Word X. So you pick anything you want for that. The app category, uh, the default language, we'll go ahead and click English. But we do have to add an app category. which is game. So then now it'll show you what the compatible devices are. You can put in your description of your game. And we have already actually uploaded this app to the Google Play Store. So if you've done that, then you can just go ahead and search for your app in the Play Store, GoMoto Word X, for instance. <laughs> And then you can just copy and paste whatever you've written for that description as well. So this is just about unscrambling the letters. It just describes your app. Just make sure it's a full description, everything it does. So make sure you have the app name, full description. Just make sure that everything is input correctly. And then you can just do that brief introduction. So just copy and paste just the first sentence. That's just fine. So you just say the name of your game, like Gomoda Word X. And it's just a brief intro. And then each time you make an update, you're going to want to say what is in that update. So what new features have you input? And then you want to do your icon for your app, which is very important. So you just have to make sure to upload, upload a square shaped icon. The resolution needs to be 216 by 216 pixels or 512 by 512. The format needs to be in a PNG or WEBP format. So as long as it's in that resolution and that format, you should be just fine. So we'll go ahead and find our logo. Yeah, the GoMoto logo. And then it's a PNG file, so that'll be just fine. I'm making sure, yeah, the max size is two megabytes. And then you just upload that. So there's the icon. 
and then you're going to need to upload at least three screenshots with a resolution of 800 by 450 pixels or 450 by 800 pixels. So you just need to give people a chance to see what this app is going to look like on their device once it's uploaded. So we've already um, done some screenshots for ours. So we can just go in and then upload those. And you need to upload three. So we're going to go ahead and upload our screenshots. And you can do up to eight screenshots. So you go to your, and then we actually already have some of ours taken already. So we just go ahead and upload those PNG files. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like. You can also upload an introduction video or promotion video as well in either landscape or portrait mode. And then again, we have this already prepared, an MP4 file. So just once it loads, it'll be offset. You select the poster frame. So this is what people will see before they actually click on it. So just click OK. And then you can go ahead and do a promotion video. So this will be like an ad. So you can do anywhere from 15 seconds to two minutes. And again, we already have our MP4 file created. And then you could either do an MOV or MP4. We just chose MP4. You can select that poster frame. Click OK, and that'll upload. So now we have that set and we can move on to the categorization. So we would just say that this is a casual game. So this is just unscrambling words. So we would say puzzle or casual. And again, this will just be whatever you think your game is. And then we'll just click casual because just for fun, and this contact information, and then that'll already be filled in. And then we'll just go to, we're going to go to save to actually save the app. So scroll up to the top and click save. And once it's saved successfully, you can click okay. Now, once you have all of these checked, whichever countries and regions you want it to be available in. So you just pick whichever one you want your app to be available. So we've just chosen these different countries and regions. You can also say no to open testing and then this shows your software version of what kind of software package that you've uploaded. So this will actually be your app that you have created and you can upload it. So you go in, find out where your app is and your computer. They have to validate the file first and then once it's uploaded, and since we've already done it, so once it's uploaded, yeah, so your APK file. Again, it's just going to validate that file. And now since we've already actually created our app, um, this would be where you would actually say that. The payment information, you can either select free or paper download. We've selected free, um, but if you do click paper download, you will need to enable the merchant service and sign the Huawei Developer Merchant Service Agreement. So it's just an extra step. 
You can also do in-app purchases. Content rating, you can apply your own rating. So this just is all of the options that you can do. So it goes from most youngest rated to the highest rated. So you can do for kids, for adults, for everyone. And this will tell you everything that you think your app includes. So just click OK once you select. Now you just provide a link to your privacy statement for the review. So you will have to create that privacy statement. There you go. And then here is where you can upload any important documents. So like your copyright and any proxy certificate. Yes. Now here it's not necessary to include any copyright information. You can if you want to, but again, it is not necessary. And then here we just have some review information. And there you can just say no login is required. Now your release schedule is up to you. It's you can release it whenever it's approved, which should take about two days once we actually upload it for a review and then approval. So you can have it released upon approval or on a specific date in the future, obviously. So we've just done upon approval. And then now once you've finished all of that, you can go up to either save it for later or you can go ahead and submit that app once you have everything taken care of. And then once that's submitted, it will be submitted to the Huawei developer site. And then they will take a, probably about two days to go ahead and approve that or not approve it, depending on any issues that they find.